This AI world is really incredible. One day you think that something is still not possible, then you wake up one morning and it's possible. It's going on at a lightning speed and I want to show you something really interesting. I will say now it's not perfect, but it's really interesting. I know you are using ChatGPT because it's free for now, it's fast when servers are not down and you are generating a lot of content. But one of the issues of ChatGPT is that it can't search on the web at the moment. Yes, you can do it if you use some Chrome extensions, but it's not perfect. Now there is something new. I was thinking on the fact that uh, search engines uh, will implement something like this. Uh, we all know that uh, Microsoft is investing a lot of billions on ChatGPT and maybe they will implement this technology into Bing. I'm pretty sure even Google is cooking something behind the scenes, but uh, it's not Bing, it's not Google that implemented first something like this in a web search engine. It's another search engine, maybe you know it, maybe not, it's called u.com. U.com is a different search engine, they have some interesting tools and recently they implemented some AI tools, for example this U-Code made for coding with AI, U-Write so you can write something with AI, U-Imagine so you can generate some images with AI, these are free but limited, for example U-Write can write up to 10 times per day, maybe if you sign up uh, you have something more, I'm not sure about that. Uh, with images uh, you can uh, use I think some images every day, you can generate uh, a limited number of images, I don't know exactly how many, but now they also have this interesting news, introducing you chat. So now I Click here because I want to show you how this works. Again, it's not perfect because as you can see this product is in beta and its accuracy may be limited, u.com is not liable for content generated. I think that's interesting, hello my name is uChat, I'm an AI that can answer general questions, explain things, suggest ideas, translate, summarize and so on pretty anything that also ChatGPT can do. So let's try with one of these examples. Let's take this one as an example, explain the theory of general relativity like I'm five years old and you got your answer. Now this is connected to the web, so I want to ask for something fresh, for something actual and factual. Let's try. Who won the FIFA World Cup 2022? As you may know, if you ask this exact question to ChatGPT, ChatGPT can't reply. Let's try with you, Chat. Okay, the FIFA World Cup 2022 was won by France, it's wrong, who beat Croatia 4-2, Croatia is wrong, in the final of July 15th, it's wrong, in Moscow, Russia, it's wrong. I was expecting something better here. Let's try again. Are you sure that France won FIFA? World Cup 2022. Okay, it's sure, but it's giving me this time this uh, reference, but it's obviously not FIFA World Cup 2022. This is talking about something different. This is the Volcano World Cup 2018. So it's answering wrong because he's uh, grabbing data from uh, this article. Yes, it's talking about uh, FIFA World Cup, uh, but it's talking about uh, being hosted in Russia. So here the problem uh, is uh, the reference that AI uh, took. Now let's try something different. 
Let's try with uh, talk about Olympic Games 2024 and let's see the answer. The Summer Olympics, officially known as the Games, uh, will be held in Paris, France. The Games will feature a wide range of sports, including archery, athletics, uh, basketball, uh, boxing and so on. Let's check for the dates. It's saying July 26. Anyway, I, I think this is correct because, as you can see, we have a reference from Wikipedia. And when you have references from Wikipedia, it's correct. As you can see, 2024 Summer Olympics. So in this case, the answer is correct. Uh, this is a little step forward from uh, ChatGPT because in this case uh, it's uh, anyway searching in the web and uh, finding good data. But as you can see, it's not perfect. You can't trust it 100% or you always need to check references. Now let's try again with the FIFA World Cup in another way. Let's try like this. Who won the FIFA World Cup 2022 based on Wikipedia data? I want to see if something changes. I'm just trying. And as you can see, according to Wikipedia, the 2022 FIFA World Cup was won by France. And again, uh, is uh, still wrong. Uh, anyway, we have something correct. Uh, hosted in Qatar, December 18th is the final date, but uh, again, uh, Croatia is wrong. I don't know why is uh, taking this data. Let me try to see this original article from uh, Wikipedia. Here is uh, obviously saying Argentina were crowned the champions after winning the final against the title holder France 4-2. The result was correct. Uh, anyway, it's still a little bit wrong. So you can't trust uh, information given by you chat or anyway you need to check uh, your references. It's a little step forward from uh, ChatGPT again because maybe you have some references here. So it's a good attempt, uh, you.com, but uh, we are still not there. Anyway, I think this will be the future for search engines. They all will implement something like this uh, and this will be for sure one of the new ways to search information on the web. Now it's up to you. Go on you.com, try to use this you chat. Maybe you have more success than me trying to use it. I tried before and I have to admit that I had more correct information, but in this case they were quite off. Try to use it and uh, let me know in the comments what do you think of this uh, you.com and you chat uh, in particular. If you are curious about uh, all these AI world, these AI tools, uh, well, on my channel you can find many, many, many videos. So go watch them. Don't forget to like this video because it will help YouTube to spread this video to the world. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will not lose new videos like this. Thank you very much for being here and see you soon in another video here on Digital Toolcase.